SpaceX's Mechazilla is even more insane than we thought. SpaceX and Tesla have risen to the top and are leading the new revolution for America. The Mechazilla is the first of its kind for space exploration and no other space exploration firm has ever had the idea of catching their spacecraft and super heavy rockets through massive chopsticks as it lands back on Earth. The inventor of this incredible and jaw-dropping piece of technology is the multi-talented, wealthy tech-savvy icon and billionaire Elon Musk. Elon Musk, in his words, SpaceX will try to catch the largest ever flying object with robot chopsticks. Intrigued to know more about it? Want to know more about the extent to which Mechazilla plays a significant role in catching three starships daily? Keep watching till the end. Hey guys, welcome to Space Live. Kindly subscribe to the channel and press the notification button to get new updates about space travel, Elon Musk, and everything about science and technology all at your doorstep. So let's dive in. Mechazilla is an integral part of the first attempt of SpaceX to launch the Starship to its initial orbit test flight. When Musk announced the Starship boost rocket strategy, it was thought to be a joke and a crazy fiction. But with dedication and implementation, SpaceX has started the installation of Space Mechazilla to lift off and catch Starship and Super Heavy rockets. On October 21st, it was reported that Elon Musk's space exploration firm has already started its installation of the Mechazilla arms on the tall Starship Tower in Starbase, South Texas. It's one of the most ambitious features of the spaceflight project already breaking new grounds. The Starship is a fully reusable rocket capable of spending over 100 tons of 100 people into space at a time. The ship is designed to support all of SpaceX's current missions while also paving the way for more ambitious plans like a base on the moon or a city on Mars. The underdeveloped vessel could become the tallest, that's 394 feet, and most powerful rocket, 16 million pounds of liftoff thrust ever to fly, while it's already set to be an impressive visual sight. Mechazilla could make the scene look even more outstanding. Designed with three primary goals in mind, Elon Musk has outfitted the Starship Launch Tower, a nearly 150 meter tall framework with three massive arms that the CEO has informally nicknamed Mechazilla. It is designed to catch spacecraft and super heavy rocket boosters. The catch and stack arm system for the Starship seeks to grab the reusable Starcraft as it lands back to Earth. Elon Musk revealed a plan to build Mechazilla in December 2020 and works started on it fully in June 2021. The structure of Mechazilla is made up of three major components which include a carriage-like structure, the tower's QD or quick disconnect arms and its two giant arms. After a busy week or few weeks spent attaching Mechazilla rocket catching arms to a carriage-like backbone, SpaceX has begun the process of installing the facilities. Mechazilla once integrated with the 135 meter or 450 feet tower, the giant steel arms will be responsible for catching a starship and the super heavy rocket boosters as they return to Earth. Assembly of the three components of the Mechazilla carriage-like structure and two giant arms began in July and on August 29th. After less than three months of assembly, SpaceX installed the Starship's QD arm on the launch tower after a month later. The QD arms was mostly finished off with the installation of a claw-like grabber, meant to stabilize Super Heavy and is now only missing its namesake Quick Disconnect, rapidly disconnecting after connecting Starship to the pad and lift off. On October 6th, SpaceX began combining those three main parts by flipping the carriage like a spine with a skate that attached rails on the launch tower's leg. Following its installation on the carriage like bone, they were flipped into the correct orientation and moved into position with separate cranes. The whole process took like 10 days and culminated with the installation of two giant cylindrical pins with built-in bearings. The tower will also prepare missions by stacking the first stage booster with the Starship and refueling these elements for the next launch. In this, the launch tower is a crucial piece of the orbital launch site, or OLS, architecture that Elon Musk had planned for Boca Chica. Once the Starship completes its test flight, Boca Chica will become a space flight hub where launches and retrievals are conducted regularly. Several elements will also be added as GSE or ground support equipment site to the OLS which includes water tanks, additional fuel tanks, pumping stations, etc. The action of the GSE and launch tower will enable SpaceX to launch, retrieve, refuel and relaunch its vehicle making sure there is rapid reusability and minimize turnaround time. The crew at Boca Chica nicknamed the giant steel arms chopsticks due to its claw-like grabber capability 
of catching starships and heavy super booster with no landing legs. As strange as the name sounds to most people, we sci-fi fans can see and recognize these references from miles away. Mechazilla is the name Musk has given to the launch tower next to the Starship launch pad. The pad is located at the firm's Starbase facility in Texas, where it aims to host the rocket's first ever orbital flight later this year. In April 2021, Musk explained on Twitter that if it had some legs, it would resemble Mechazilla. This is most likely a reference to the Mechagodzilla character from the Godzilla movie franchise, which first appeared in the 1974 film Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. Musk, of course, is well known for including references to science fiction in his company's products. So now, what exactly do these arms do? Well, the tower is equipped with rails that have a series of skates, which the ground crews attach the carriage to use a series of large pins. The arms once integrated paired with a third QD arm that will stabilize boosters whenever they are in the process of being stacked with the Starship. The QD arm is tasked with distributing power, comm links, and 1.088 million kg 200 US tons of cryogenically cooled propellant to the upper stage. The installation of the QD arms alongside the construction of a carriage-like structure and the two giant arms took about three months to complete. On October 6th, the QD arms with a launch tower were integrated when the ground crew moved the carriage into a vertical position and reoriented the chopstick. So they were angled the right way. On October 20th, the first step of installing the carriage and arms onto the rails, skaters, using the facility's largest crane was completed and a total of 12 connections need to be made before the catch arms will be a part of the tower without the help of a crane. However, the system of pulleys needed to be installed to support the carriage and arms before the catch arm could perform on its own. Elon Musk, in his words, says that the long-awaited orbital flight test could take place in November. Musk shared the news via Twitter, indicating that the test could happen if all goes well. And pending approval by the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, this test will see to it that the SN20 prototype flies to an altitude of 200 kilometers, that's 124 miles, then make a soft touchdown on the landing pad. Once done, the test will validate the Starship as an orbital vehicle and demonstrate its ability to return from space safely. SN20 is the first prototype to be outfitted with heat-resistant tiles to protect the prototype's stainless steel hull from the scorching heat it will encounter during atmospheric re-entry. This conclusion is made after the SN20 prototype successfully concluded the first static fire test of the Vacuum Raptor Engine 6. These engines have a large nozzle than the Raptor engines optimized for sea level, which gives them improved performance. To ensure safe landing once it returns to the Earth's atmosphere, SN20 will also have three Raptor engines since it helps to improve the performance in the airless environment of space. Once the orbital flight is complete, the Starship will officially be ready to move into commercial flights. Musk hopes to send the Starship on its inaugural mission by 2023. The mission is being financed by Japanese billionaire, entrepreneur, and art collector Yusaku Mezawa and will see a crew of eight artists making a circumlunar flight. Musk, in his words, also says that his company plans to send uncrewed missions to Mars by 2024 and crewed missions by 2026. That's it for the day, guys. What do you think about this arm? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications to get new updates about our posts. See you in the next video. Until then, peace out.